Hello. So Mark and I, uh, well, actually I'm just going to be filming Mark. Um, Mark is going to be making some short ribs. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to be marinating them. We're going to show you that process. He's going to show you that process. And then yeah, I'm going to record and maybe narrate a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the Cree name for these is Kalbi. I'll show you what you're gonna need for marinating it. So this is ginger paste. I mean, yeah, you could use real ginger, ginger if you want, but we're lazy. And then this is um, kind of like rice wine, I guess you could say, so cooking rice wine. Soy sauce, black pepper, sesame oil. I already pre-chopped up some garlic because why would you even want you to chop that out? That's boring. <laughs> and then pre-chop some onion. And then, is that one onion? Yeah, it's just one whole onion. And then this is like a mixture of our disgusting uh, honey that crystallized in like is goop and then <laughs> some sugar in so there. So honey and sugar. But, but I you mean, normally use brown sugar. Yeah, I normally use brown sugar. We have brown sugar, but it's like a year old. So it helps if you have uh, some disposable gloves here, but you don't really need them. We'll toss these in a bag first. Because that's where we're going to marinate everything. Yum. Now that we have our meat in a baggie, we just toss all the stuff in. So this is one whole onion. I mean, I guess if you get technical, it was like a uh, yellow onion that I bought. Mm -hmm. But yellow, white, whatever you want. I'm just going to toss on both sides. You just kind of like cut it up into... Yeah, just... Whatever. Slices, I guess you could mm -hmm. say, but not the... I mean, it's just a marinade, right? Yeah. So you don't have to be fancy with your cutting. So. And then some garlic. So I used like a whole bulb. I guess it's like medium size. I mean, if you want a number, I guess it's somewhere in the ballpark. I use like 12 cl cloves, I guess you mm. could say. But, so I see you're putting it on both sides. Yeah, it doesn't really necessarily matter because you can shake up the bag afterwards yeah. anyways. But I'm just, just doing to kind of even it out there. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it even. So now we're putting in the liquids, the soy sauce and the rice wine meat in. Is this something that you can find at a regular grocery store? Yeah, I don't soy know. Soy sauce you can, but... Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. You gotta okay. check in your Asian aisle if you have one. Yeah, I like the ethnic aisle. Um, so usually I don't do measurements. I usually kind of just feel it out. But for you guys, I'll do measurements. But it, it, essentially you want equal parts of the two. So actually I have like, this is half a cup here. So we're gonna do half a cup of bow. Mm -hmm. But um, essentially you just want it so it's covered, really. Because it's a marinade, right? But we're going half a cup there, and then... <laughs> She's playing with her toys. toys. And then <laughs> half a cup of this guy here. Bam. So maybe add a little bit more. So I'm adding a little bit more because I want to make sure the meat's covered. But like I said earlier, it's kind of just like equal parts of the two. And this was 1.93 pounds, oh, yeah. just so you know how much. Oh, yeah, well, it was pretty much like two, I guess you could say. <laughs> Next that? is our uh, awkward looking uh, sugar and honey uh, mixture here. So just the honey crystallized you a can, Yeah. So it, I actually would use brown sugar. I'm not, actually, I'm not going to put in all that sugar in. I'll just do that much, so. <laughs> All right, so we're doing like a tablespoon of this ginger here. Again, I don't really do measurements, but it's about a tablespoon there. And then we're going with a tablespoon of black pepper. Again, I'm kind of just eyeballing it here. Doesn't matter too much because it's just gonna marinade. Um, then this is sesame oil. Sorry, it's like a Korean brand, but you can get any go sesame oil. Two tablespoons of sesame oil here. One, I feel like we need like a whole cup because I have to drink that stuff. But... All right, and then you want to just get in there and mix <laughs> it up because I'm just going to massage it. All the flavors. Yeah. Is that uh, actually mainly the reason why I'm doing this? Because that uh, honey sugar mixture was oh, all yeah. clumped together. <laughs> so you want to make sure it's all evenly coated, I mm -hmm. guess. It's gonna be so good. 
Can you smell it already? Smell it. Yeah, they can smell it. The smell of vision. <laughs> Cheesy. So this is what the final product looks like. I'm just kind of getting the air out of the bag. I don't really know if it matters or you need to, but that's just what I'm doing, so. There it is. Okay, there's your finished product. So I guess technically you can let it sit and marinate for like, I don't know, like five hours or do it the morning of, but ideally, I want to let marinate overnight, so. Yum, Here and we then come. we'll cook it. Okay, so it's time for Mark and I to try the short ribs that he marinated last night. But we also have some mushrooms. You literally just put mushrooms down, add a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. The water that you see is literally just the water from the mushroom. We also have a spinach side dish that I made, a bean sprout side dish that I made, some rice, some samjang, some kimchi, some romaine, and mark. <laughs> All right, time to cook it. Yum. Okay, and then we're cutting them. So you don't, I guess you can leave them like this, but this is the preferred way to eat them because you just literally pick them up by the bone and then eat the meat off. Yeah. Okay, look at my plate. Looks so good. Mark is cleaning the griddle. Mm -hmm. You did such a good job. Thanks. Now it's time to eat it. All right. What do you think? I think I heard that. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. Can you get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you the type that eats all the meat around the bone, like cleans it? You like, have Even to. like the fatty part? It's the only way. I have such a hard time getting all the fat off of it. Okay, my turn. See, there's meat left over on the outside. I have such a hard time getting it off the bone. Mm. It was good. Mm -hmm. and then also have some spinach, which I have that recipe posted on my Instagram, as well as bean sprout side dish. I didn't get a very big bite. And then we have the mushrooms, mm. and of course, I have to have kimchi. Oh, I just dropped it everywhere. <laughs> mm. Being the table. And then rice. Oh, so delicious. Okay, so this is a no-no, okay? What this is? is what you want your bone to look like. This is like equivalent to the people who don't finish eating their uh, chicken chicken wings and stuff. So that's how it's done. Anyway, that's dinner. Let me know if you try it. You should try them. They are so good. Mm. <laughs>